And now, the President of United Earth. In four short years, we will enter the 23rd century. And thanks to the policies of my administration, the future never looked brighter. But our colonization of the solar system still has its growing pains. As you already know, I too was once a stormer. Of course, that was many years ago, and we were just pioneering the field of psionic weapons. But my experiences in uniform built a nation of service, loyalty, and of courage. If you can survive the light storm training, you will bear the awesome responsibility of defending global democracy throughout the regions of space. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll find yourself sitting behind this desk as President of United Earth and Commander-in-Chief of the Light Storm Forces. Okay, little brother. This is your last chance to change your mind and go home. I didn't graduate top ten from the academy to take some desk job, sir. Dad would have been proud of your grades. But school's over and now the real lessons begin. Are you ready for your first training mission, Private? Sir, yes, sir! Your job is simple. Run the gauntlet and get your butt out alive. Now, who's this, sir? That's the top of your class. Troy Alexander? He seems to know his way around the block. How about you? Will I be getting any psionics, sir? Why would the government waste good money in planting expensive psionic weapons in a cherry recruit? If you don't have the brain power to outmaneuver a few droids with attitude, I never forgive myself for sending you on a real mission. Just remember, Think fast, shoot fast, and kick ass. Mission complete.
finest stormer our academy's produced, Jack. Your father would have been proud. Thank you, sir. What's wrong, Lieutenant? I'm just sorry that Sergeant Alexander didn't make it this far. And I don't understand why my brother isn't here to see this, sir. Well, he's on special assignment, son. I've sent him to New Atlantis for R&R, &R, and now I'm ordering you there to join him. R&R? &R? Sir, yes, sir! Priority one emergency. The power reactor on New Atlantis has gone supercritical. Looks like sabotage. Security's been wiped out, and I'm 50 clicks from the nearest teleporter. We need someone to get in here, kick ass, and get the core shut down ASAP before it goes to meltdown. What's the quickest way to the teleporter, sir? I happen to be familiar with these reactors. Look for the cooling valves in the side rooms. That'll buy you enough time to get to the teleporter in the center core. Now you get there, and we'll transmit you out. Good luck, Lieutenant. Complete. think of the extractor. I think it's a perfect fit. <laughs> you know, I remember when I requested the funds for a teleporter that looked like my office. The bean counters thought that I was just acting paranoid. Of course, once it was completed, I had absolute secrecy. So I had them, shall we say, extracted from office. Yeah? Well, it's quite comfortable, actually. I'm thinking about getting one for the barracks. Just like your father. You disrespect him. He tried to stop me once, too. He was the only one that figured out that I was looking a lot further down the line than just being some sad sack stormer. You see, he found out that I was hunting for the orb in my spare time. Of course, when he threatened to unmask me, 
I had a few terrorists pay him a visit. You son of a... Well, Stormer, let's see how you match up with my little toy. You see, I'm not just going to kill you. I'm going into that precious brain of yours, and I'm going to extract that terror blast your friends at the Alliance gave you. I understand that the extractor can be a little disconcerting to the thought process. I'd, uh, offer you a couple of aspirin, but uh, I'm not authorized to prescribe medication. <laughs> Think good thoughts.
Mission complete. into a trap. Can you get me out of here? The whole area is shielded. We can't lock on to you. But there's a teleporter at the gate to the prison. Get there, and I'll bring you back here. Yeah, well, when I get there, I'm going straight for Krieg. complete.
And remember, cadets, if you can survive light storm or training, you will bear the awesome responsibility of defending global democracy across the reaches of space. And cut. That was great, Jack. Look, I know you want to get back to being a stormer, but being interim president does have a few perks. Mm -hmm.